I'm looking to check in here on my nuke box, see how it's doing this spring. This is a special nuke. It's got a secret surprise in the top. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. I built this thing with a goal in mind, the top box, to reestablish my top bar hive. I lost all my comb on the top bar and I'm trying to get some starter comb for when I rear queens I can put a colony in my top bar that I've built. So I'm going to just check, see if the feeder is empty. It is. And I have sugar water built to put in that. Just some quick smoke. And let's go in this top box and I'll show you what the secret is. This is a Brushy Mountain feeder. Brushy Mountain obviously is not in business anymore, but I did like their feeders. So this hive has two conventional frames. Conventional meaning foundation frames, Langstroth, regular, nothing special. And then it has three top bar frames. So let's see how the top bar frames are doing. My smoker is out of smoke. It's been burning for over an hour but I think I can eke my way through. When I checked this last, they were just starting to build comb. Let me use this properly. Let's see if we got the goods here. We do, oh my God, look how perfect that is. And there's brood to boot. Now why would it build this way? Because I have a false floor in the bottom of the hive. There's slope sides and it, it is the exact same shape as the bottom of my top bar. And when I looked at this last, they had just started those but I could see when I took that out that the three frames that have a false floor are good to go. So I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna drag my top bar out and I'm gonna put those in. And you know what, there's brood in there, but I don't know if there's any uh, eggs, larva, that they could start a queen. But what I wanna do is get that top bar going while there's still a smidge of a nectar flow. And I think I can get that started now, given what I just saw. You know what, I'm going to put the feeder back on, not get ahead of myself. So that's exciting. That box I built last year with this intention and put it in early this spring and that looks like mission accomplished. That's spectacular and I'm looking forward to putting those in my hive. And I probably will do that maybe later this afternoon. And I will put three more frames in here for them to build out. So that's really, really cool. What a great success.